Hello, I am Pearl Akanyo Fori bringing you today's top stories. Prophet TB Joshua backtracks on his earlier prophecy about a possible terror attack on Ghana and the mystery behind the invasion of some communities in the Ashanti region by snakes has been revealed. All these and more here on City News Daily on City TV. In our first top story, Nigerian pastor TB Joshua has in a new prophecy said there would no longer be a terror attack on Ghana. This follows his last prophecy warning of a possible attack critics say caused Ghanaians to panic. In a live sermon aired on Emmanuel TV, TB Joshua said God would never allow any harm to come to Ghana. Here are bits of the new prophecy. And the evildoers are no match for Ghana. God will never allow evildoers to prevail because it has been a nation, a saved nation. Evildoers put together, that is put my statement right, evildoers put together are no match for the nation Ghana. Now let's move away from security issues because a senior research scientist at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Dr. Bright Obin Kankam, has explained that the recent invasion of some communities in the Ashanti region by snakes is due to extreme starvation of the reptiles. The Ghanaian Times newspaper has reported. Residents in the following communities, Isien Yampong, Kwasu and Piasi, all near Ejusu, sent them back were alarmed by the unexplained influx of snakes in their communities. Though people give spiritual reasons to the invasion, Dr. Bright Obin Kankam says the excessive use of fertilizers by the farmers has caused the disappearance of tadpoles in the swamps, leading to the scarcity of frogs, which is food for the snakes. He further explained that the onset of the rains forced the snakes to seek higher grounds in the communities and also to find mice and other rodents that may be living on refuse dams found near the communities. Now, a private legal practitioner and lecturer at the University of Ghana Law School, Dr. Poku Aduse, has warned that the Electoral Commission could face a legal battle if it is found to have unlawfully copied its new logo from another body in a different country. Similar images of the EC's new logo can now be seen in use online, implying the Commission stole the idea from elsewhere. Dr. Poku Aduse has described it as worrying. He also said this could land the EC into trouble. According to the law lecturer, the decision to design a new logo for the Electoral Commission is also misplaced. And speaking of the Electoral Commission, the former chairman of the Commission, Dr. Kwejo Afarijan, has dismissed rumors of his death, which have gone viral on social media. Rumors initially said he was unwell and had died. But speaking to Accra Bay's radio station, Dr. Afarijan said he was alive and currently in his hometown in the Bnu Ahafu region. For more stories, visit cityfmonline.com. And that's all from me, Pearl Akanyo Fori, on City News Daily on City TV. We are back tomorrow with more stories. Thanks for watching.